How's it going? I'm going to go ahead and show you how to customize the start button and the taskbar down here on Windows 10. Now, as you all know, Windows 10 now comes with the start button, start menu that we were all kind of used to. It looks a little different now because here on the right hand side we have Windows 8 tiles. And on the left hand side we have somewhat what, we're, what we were used to on Windows 7 is the start uh, menu here. Now, this is like a Frankenstein version, right? Windows 7 and Windows 8 together. All right. So let's start off with the tiles here on the right. You can actually modify those by right-clicking them. You can unpin it from the start screen here. You can resize it. For example, this photo is one looks a little too big. So let's go ahead and resize it to medium. And there it is. It's now medium. Let's say you wanted to resize um, the weather here too large you can go ahead and make that large you want to look at the weather that way now if you notice it's not live you know what the, what I mean with not live it doesn't show the actual um, information so you oh there it is now it was just bringing it up okay if it doesn't show the information right click it and uh, turn live on you click on turn live on and that'll bring it up for the weather that is okay now, if you want to bring some of the ones here on the left to the right, some of the icons here on the left menu to the right, all you got to do is just click, drag, and drag it over. For example, right there. Boom. So you can just click and drag. You can also right-click these icons and uh, pin to taskbar, so then it'll put it down here on the taskbar. All right. You can also uh, right-click it over here on the left-hand side and pin to taskbar. Pin to start over here or pin to taskbar down here. You can even uninstall from here when you right click it. And that's how you can go ahead and modify the start menu. Now to, mod to modify the taskbar, you got to click on uh, any part of the taskbar where there's no icons, right? Right click, click on properties. And here you can go ahead and uh, lock the taskbar. You can auto hide it. So when you auto hide, what happens is it goes away like that. And you just put your mouse down there and it'll come back up. And that's what the auto hide is for. You can also check this if you want to use small taskbar buttons. And there's a couple more options here. You could uh, change the location on the screen. Uh, you can combine or hide uh, taskbar buttons and labels, notification area. You can customize that by clicking customize. And then here you can go ahead and customize it through here to this new uh, notifications and actions menu. All right. Also, the navigation. You can go ahead and check this. And I really haven't really messed with this here. I checked it and I hit apply, but I really don't notice any difference. So if you guys know what this means, uh, you can help us out. And uh, uh, It's talking about the corners here on the left and right hand side. But if you press Windows key plus X, it brings up this menu here down here too, which is what it's talking about right there. So you really don't need to turn that on really you just press Windows and X key together and this and it'll bring up this menu here which is a shortcut to everything on your computer and basically when you turn this on you're turning on that to come up automatically but it's not working I don't get it if you guys figure out how to make that work let us know on the comment section of the video also the toolbars you can go ahead and turn those on the address bar is very very helpful guys we're going to turn all of them on so you see what we're talking about. So now down here we have an address bar. When you turn it on, in this address bar you can go ahead and search whatever you want, right? For example, you want to go to msconfig, which is the configuration on your computer. Hit enter. And boom, there it is, msconfig. Windows 7 had this, right? When you go to start, it had it right there. But I guess in Windows 10 they have it off. So that's how you turn it on. You go to the properties on the taskbar toolbars and there it is right there that's where you can go to anything on your computer and that's pretty much it that's how you can go ahead and customize the start button or the start menu and if you right click the start button you can also get that menu I was talking about here and that's about it that's how you can go ahead and customize that thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe like the video and I'll see you soon in one of my next videos